Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's Professor Williams, and today I'm bringing you hummingbirds, normal distribution, and the empirical rule. So we're given that the amount of nectar a hummingbird can consume in a day is normally distributed with a mean of 2.0 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.5 ounces. Because we have this phrase normally distributed, we know that this consumption of nectar follows this, well, just about normal curve, right, where the mean is located dead center and the area above the mean and the area below the mean are the same. We also know that 50% of our data falls above the mean and the other 50% of the data falls below the mean. So let's take a look at how we apply the empirical rule to make some decisions and to draw some conclusions about the distribution of our data. So let's refresh our memory on the empirical rule. The empirical rule states that 68% of the data in this normal distribution will be contained in an interval that is created when we move plus or minus one standard deviation from the mean. It also tells us that 95% of our data is going to be located in an interval that we create when we move plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean. And lastly, it says 99.7% of the data is going to be contained in an interval that's created when we move plus or minus three standard deviations from the mean. I just told you that 50% of the data was above and 50% of the data was below the mean, except we have a little bit of it that's not accounted for. That 0.3% of the data falls beyond this third standard deviation. The other thing that we know is that it is divided by two. Remember, we have a symmetrical curve. And so now we know that 0.15% of our data is going to fall beyond this third standard deviation in this normal distribution. Let's take a look at what this looks like on the curve. In order to put this onto our curve, we're going to find our intervals first. And so we're going to begin with the very first one the empirical rule gave us, which said that 68% of our data is going to be located within one standard deviation from the mean. So I'm going to begin at the mean. I'm going to add and subtract one standard deviation. So we knew that the mean was 2.0 ounces. And so we're going to go plus or minus one times the standard deviation. I'm going to move up and down one standard deviation, which is going to give me an interval of 1.5 to 2.5. The other thing the empirical rule told me was 95% of my data was going to be located in an interval that was plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean. So I'm going to start at my mean. This time I'm going to move plus or minus two standard deviations. My mean is 2.0. I'm going to go plus or minus. This time two standard deviations from the mean, which is going to give me an interval from one to three. So what about this last piece of 99.7%? Well, the empirical rule told me plus or minus three standard deviations. So I'm going to get, begin at the mean, and I'm going to go plus and minus three standard deviations. So I'm going to begin at the mean of 2.0. I'm going to go plus and minus, this time, three standard deviations. And so that's going to give me this interval of 0 0.50 up to 3.5. Okay, so now that we have our intervals, 
let's go ahead and look at some curve. All right, so here's my normal curve, and I know that the mean is located right here in the dead center. And now I'm going to move one standard deviation to the right and remove one standard deviation to the left. Each standard deviation moved me 0.5 ounces. So now I know that this point on the curve is 2.5 ounces. This point on the curve is 1.5 ounces. And now I know that 68% of the time hummingbirds are going to consume between 1.5 and 2.5 ounces of nectar in a day. So now let's look at the 95% interval. Again, I'm going to begin at my mean 2.0, but the empirical rule said in order to get 95%, we had to go plus or minus two standard deviations. So now I'm going to go one two standard deviations. Again, each standard deviation is just 0.5. So when I end up up here, I end up at 3.0. Now I'm going to move to the left one, two standard deviations. Standard deviation is just that. It's standard. So there's another 0.5. And now I know that this gets me to the bottom of that interval of 1.0. So now what I can say is that 95% of the time a hummingbird will consume between 1 and 3 ounces of nectar. Let's go one more standard deviation. So here I am looking for the, I can't decide where to draw, the 99.7% interval which we knew was given to us as plus or minus three standard deviations. The means exactly where it always been, dead center. And now I'm going to move one, two, three standard deviations. And that takes me up here to 3.5 ounces. Now I'm going to move to the left. One, two, three standard deviations. That's going to bring me down here to the bottom of my interval of 0 0.50. So now what I can say is that 99.7% of the time, our hummingbirds are going to consume between 0.5 and 3.5 ounces. That little 0.3% that we had left over, half of it is here, half of it is here, so that becomes a 0.15% and a 0.15%. Remember, because this curve is symmetrical, what happens on the right happens on the left, and so I only I know now that only 0.15% of the time will they drink less than half an ounce and only 1.5% of the time will they drink more than 3.5 ounces. I hope this has helped. Um, if you need uh, more examples, check me on YouTube. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic day.